morning from Ningbing. We decided to rent bicycles, which is a little bit of a change up for us. So we're going to use those to get around town today. And I hope it doesn't prove to be that we've bitten off more than we can chew in terms of like distances and intensity, but I guess we'll see. So we are going to go and collect those. And our first stop of the day is going to be breakfast. Steady, steady. We've arrived to where we thought we were going to have breakfast. It says on Google that it opens at 6.30 in the morning, but it is 8.20, and as you can see, it is still closed. So on to plan B. Thank goodness our third choice of breakfast place is open because when we arrived to our second, it was closed as well. We've now made it to Trang An to park your bike. It's about 10,000 dong per bike, which shakes out to about 55 cents each. We've just bought our tickets at Trang An for the boat tour. It's 250,000 dong per person, which translates to 14 Canadian dollars per person. Our understanding is that you need four people in a boat, so we're gonna have to find some people to pair up with. Once you've paid for your ticket, you then have a selection of three different routes. So routes one, two, and three. We fancy going for more caves than anything else, so we've opted for this one, which takes us through quite a number of them, as well as a few temples. First stop today is here at Trin Temple. And straight away, we're headed to Sang Cave. Temple. It was built during the Din Dynasty a thousand years ago. Just so you're aware, to access Tran Temple from shore, you actually have to climb what I would estimate to be about 200 stairs, 
up and it's pretty steep, then you go down the same 200 stairs on the other side and then you have to do it all again in reverse to get back to the boat. Just want you to be aware and prepared. It's intense. We're sweating. And it's not even that hot outside. It's maybe mid to low 20s. Up next, by Yacht Cave. We're heading into CO Cave. Son Duong Cave. Just arrived to Kong Temple. And this is Kong Cave. Now let's go into Tran Cave. Final cave is Kehoe Cave. And that nearly calls our time to trying and to an end. Before we go, we wanted to share a little couple of nuggets of information, which includes the fact that this is yet another UNESCO World Heritage Site. I didn't know much about it before we came, but essentially it is a limestone mountain range that is interconnected by a network of streams. And if you were to get a bird's eye view, you would just see that these mountain ridges are absolutely covered in green flora. It has been described as Halong Bay inland and to be honest that's probably one of the best descriptions that I personally have heard because it is remarkably similar and for that reason just as breathtaking. Yeah, Halong Bay was on my bucket list but I had no idea that this should be too and in fact I think I'm gonna say I prefer this. I obviously think you should do both. Both are just magical experiences but here, once you got away from the boat dock and the first temple, you barely saw another boat on the entire three hour tour. Exactly. It felt so much more private, so much more <coughs> exclusive. And because of the fact that you were never having to compete with anybody for a view, then as far as we went, in terms of being able to get the right shots and all that kind of stuff, that was perfect. But also, it just gave you time to really, really appreciate what you were seeing. And for that, I think, honestly, as far as I'm concerned, this has been my absolute favourite 
thing that I've seen in Vietnam so far. I agree. I feel so bad saying it, but I do agree. It was just so peaceful. Like you didn't want to speak loudly. All you wanted to do was listen to the tranquility of the sounds of nature. It was wonderful. And in terms of the visuals, it wasn't exclusive to what you saw in the sky either. The water was incredibly clear to the point where you could see all the vegetation underneath. And on the surface, you could see ducks just going about their normal day, and you could actually see fish. Mm -hmm. It was crazy. That was such an incredibly unique experience. I'm not sure that we're going to find anything quite like it, even as we go through this country. I don't know, that was so special and I'm so glad we came here. Me too. Three things. One, it started raining. Two, our bikes are kind of janky and the part that bothers us the most is the fact that we can't adjust our seats. So we've been having to put twice as much effort in order to get less output and we have a higher chance of getting injured. Number three, we're feeling a little bit under the weather so we're not at our best anyway. With that, we've decided to cut the sightseeing portion of our day short. But don't worry, yesterday for lunch, Nick found the cheapest, most delicious banh mi restaurant. So we're gonna take you there for dinner. Another amazing meal to cap off yet another amazing day in Vietnam. Again, said it once before, gonna say it again, we're gonna love this country. I think I already do. We're gonna keep loving this country. Pretty much. And we will continue to love it tomorrow. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>